Hey guys, what a beautiful day. Okay, today I'm gonna do a review video of my brand new Shoei. Um, let me check out this. Okay, see here. New Tech 2. Okay, it's in a matte black color. And uh, the size I chose is a uh, XL size. Because for my other few Shoei helmet also, I bought uh, in a uh, size XL. Okay, due to my big head. And in in fact, XL is kind of um, big in size for me. So I went for the, you know, they have, the, for this Shoei, they have the personal fitting system, which is the PFS. So they actually fit your, uh, you know, every individual, we all do have a different head shape. So they can actually custom fit to your uh, every individual, okay? It follows your head shape and then they do the fittings and everything for you and uh, you'll be in the, you know, perfect, you will have a perfect fit fitting after the fitting session. Okay, let's unbox it and uh, show you guys uh, this um, showy helmet. Okay. This is the unboxing of it. Okay. okay. Firstly, what we see inside is this uh, the Shovi Evo. This is the pin lock Evo. Okay. And this is the fuel model that actually um, um, it, it suits this fuel model. Okay. This is the pin lock. Okay, it's included in the box. Okay, secondly, what else we have in here? Well, it's a very nice box. So let me see what else in here. I'll take this off. Okay, you see here, side of the box. Take this off. Okay. Okay, this is the chin. The chin, the... Uh, Chin guard or something, yeah. Is it the chin guard? Something to put, yeah, I guess it's the chin guard. Okay, and they do, have, they do come with uh, this is show me a little liquid. This is for you to apply uh, to the side of the helmet or the rubber, okay, or the rubbers so that you apply some so it won't be hardened and you'll be uh, because you know when the helmets, okay, if you look, use it for quite a long time. The rubber tend to be hardened up, okay? So this one is for you to apply on the, the lining, the rubber lining, okay? In order to soften the rubber and uh, you last longer, okay? They have the booklet inside to show you the, how to install this and uh, how to fit all the, uh, all, the, all the accessories, okay? And they do even have the, let me open it up. Ah, they even have this, you know, you can see showy sticker, right? I'm not a sticker guy, so <laughs> I'll just leave it as it is, okay? So basically, this is the manual that most people won't and don't read. <laughs> okay, what else? Oh, this is, this is finally, okay? This is the helmet, let me put aside, okay? This is a showy helmet, you can see that's a very nice, uh, um, this is a back, carrying bag for you. Okay, you can see the front, the rear of it. Okay, so let me open it up. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Okay, let's see. This is the unboxing of my Shoei Hammer. New tech too. Ta da! Can you see that? It's nice, right? It's in uh, XL size, matte black color. New tech too. Okay, they do come with a uh, pin lock. That's what written here. Okay, it, should, it says here uh, easy washing and replacement for the um, removable interior. Okay, they have this uh, stainless steel interlocking mechanism. Okay, this is the buckle. And they do have a uh, nice uh, noise isolator prevents wind and noise invading the helmet. Meaning that this helmet is very very um, silent, good wind protection. Okay, excellent vision under all condition. Okay, well you know this is actually uh, this new tech two is um, 
modular helmet, meaning that the, at the front of it, it can open up, fit it up, okay, in order to get some fresh air after a long, uh, long journey. Because this is actually a touring helmet, okay? So let me open it up and let you guys see that. You push the button here, the red button. Mm -hmm. And this is the one, okay? In fact, they do come with uh, this uh, sun visor as well. Okay, that's a lever here for you to pull it up. Then you see, if I push it down this way, you can see that the sun visor came, came down, okay? Now, put it in off position. Okay, so basically this is the helmet. It's a um, touring helmet. That, uh, because you know what, I have a couple of uh, full face helmet and open face okay but I don't have any of this uh, modular type so you know for I'm not riding a this uh, touring bike so you know it's nicer to have this okay but uh, the downside of this helmet is that uh, it's kind of heavy okay there's one written here it's a uh, 170 Six five brand helmet alone. Okay, this is the matte black color. Of course, it's it's the lightest of all. Because if uh, for others um, they have those graphic type of uh, this helmet as well. Okay, so the graphic types it, it, it comes up to one eight something grams. Okay, you know because the paint is is weight. If more paint is more weight. This is actually the matte type. So it's a very smooth surface and. Uh, they don't need to apply more paint on it. Okay, so definitely like that. Okay, and it's written here 1800 gram with option parts. Okay, so basically this is not a, uh, what do you call this, uh, a very light helmet. In fact, all modulars are kind of um, <coughs> heavier than those typical um, full face helmet. Okay, because you know, they have the mechanism in here. You see, this is all the mechanism so that it, especially you can see from, from here all the mechanism so that you can flip up and down. Okay, this is a close position. Okay, and you can see here, show me no tap too. And you know, this is the fan, the exhaust fan. Okay, and the front of it is that you're able to open into these two different positions. Okay, this is for the airflow, the front van. And we have this uh, chin fan as well. You're able to close it and open it. Okay, I show you, show you again. This is uh, closing the uh, this uh, chin fan and this to open it. Okay. In fact, um, this particular model they came with the uh, integrated. Um, this is for specially designed for Santa. Okay, so that if you buy, but it's an optional part. If you buy this uh, Santa, this um separately. You're able to um, okay, stick the what do you call this? The intercom, I mean the concept here, so that the winds flow nicely and you don't have like um, you know the typical type they have uh, the bulky type of uh, um, a receiver here, so it, it's big, okay? Now it's like you know seamless, it's so nice, right? The full aerodynamic if you buy it separately, okay? But unfortunately it sells it separately, so I don't know, maybe in the near future I'll, I'll get it, okay? And the back of it is, uh, this is for the, okay, this part is for the, the, the Senna, the Senna, the system itself, okay, the device, okay? So on the left side of the helmet, also they come with this, okay? This side of it. So basically it's a very, very, um, um, very, very nice helmet. This is an open position, you can see that, right? So, this is like open up and close it down. So this is basically the modular helmet by Shoei and I haven't really tried it out yet. Uh, after, um, after, after some break-ins and some review, and I'll do another review on this particular helmet to show you guys, uh, to tell you guys more about this, uh, this helmet and how it feels like uh, wearing it, okay? So this is a um, modular helmet by Shoei. Okay, new tech too. Okay, basically that's the unboxing video of it, and uh, hopefully you guys like it, and uh, I'll definitely uh, do more video after this. Okay, let me show you more of the new tech too.
you know what because i like it in the matte black matte black color so you know in future if i change to other bikes i able to like uh, uh easily to match match my maybe others bike because black color is the easiest way to to actually uh for matching color okay one thing uh, this matte black looks very very nice as well okay hey guys okay i'm wearing my helmet this a uh, showy new tag 2 for the very first time and uh riding my tracer 900 gt mm -hmm. before fitting definitely a bit loose but uh, I, I chose this uh, XL, size XL, but L right, L, L is kind of tight for me. So I prefer to opt for the, the bigger size and then later do the, um, well, the personal fitting. Okay, because uh, if you buy the smaller one, it unable to fit you well. If the bigger one, they can add on all those um, the sponge, the sponges and uh you know the layer of uh, a sponge or, or what do you call it i don't know okay so um so far so good the initially i thought that uh, i need this uh, the srl which is the senna built-in uh, integrated built-in uh, what do you call that the the comp system but uh, fortunately, because uh, the Senna, the SRL system, it doesn't come with camera. So fortunately, I able to mount this um, Senna 10C Pro, which I, which I always use uh, to take video, to uh, to for communication, for for the whole purpose of riding. Okay, Senna 10C Pro. Luckily, it able to fit, and it fits quite quite well and quite sturdy quite okay so i haven't tested out the high speed yet but uh i think it should be it should be okay um secondly i noticed that uh this this particular hammer this um this um new tech tool is way 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 more um silent it's so it's not noisy at all okay the um, comparing to my x spirit 3 wow uh, a lot of difference it's so 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 silent i mean the noise level on this um this particular um helmet is so good the noise control the wind control but i haven't tested the high speed yet because you know i just get out of my house and I need to go somewhere, um, maybe the highway, then only are able to test out the high speed. And from then, we only know the, the, the soundproofing of this helmet. But the initial impression was good. It's really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Okay, this helmet is heavy. It's very heavy. Um, it weighs about 1,000... Seven 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 hundred plus grams, which is approximately let's say one point eight kilos, plus my Senna, plus all the accessories, plus my Tensi Pro. I guess it adds up to maybe two kilos, you know. So it's definitely I I I can feel that you see, definitely I can feel that, because now I'm wearing it is on my head you see, um so. I don't know for for a normal riding like now because it's just five ten minutes only uh i don't feel any pressure i don't feel uh my my neck is um um is uh i don't have any numbness i don't have any anything yet because it's just 10 minutes right okay maybe 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 after i wear for like half an hour to an hour then only i can comment about that okay um what else well um, apart from the weight i i don't see any much different comparing to this uh x spirit 3 which eh, x spirit 
Yeah, Xperia 3. Okay. I'm, I'm uh, in fact opening up my the modular helmet now. Now it's in a uh, open face uh, position. Okay, so mm -hmm, it's definitely more comfortable because you know once you close it down the lid the whole helmet then the, you get a bit of the tightness now definitely okay it's a bit loose in fact okay so so far so good okay it's good that uh, i can open up my 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 this uh, the front what do you call this the visor or the lid or what i don't know so that uh, I able to breathe it, breathe it nicely, and I can I can feel more air coming through, and uh, it's nicer to stop at the traffic light with the uh, open lid, okay? Because um, otherwise it'll be hot and uh, you know, like uh, like suffocating, is it? <laughs> you know what I mean, right? This right? Okay, so far so good, and uh, I don't know this video. It's good or not because I haven't really adjusted um, the Senna 10C Pro. I just uh, install it and I just plug it in. So the video might be might be a bit uh, a bit out. You see, maybe maybe the, the 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 positioning might be a bit out. So sorry for that. Uh, by the way, I'm uh, going to buy something now and uh, meeting up my bikers friends for a cup of tea. So that's it. Okay. So I'll take more video later and uh, see you guys very soon. Um, that's a um, very brief review of my helmet. This uh, um, new Tac 2 helmet. Okay, guys. See ya. Bye bye.